everyone you're welcome to my channel i'm lawrence ifine in today's video i'll be showing you how to chat chinese suppliers with automatic english to chinese language translation okay what do i mean by this this is actually a process whereby your english chats with your chinese supplier gets automatically translated okay with this method it will make the communication between you and your Chinese suppliers very easy and swift. Okay, now this method is not limited to 1688 alone. It is not limited to 1688 app alone. You can use it in your WeChat, you can use it in 1688, you can use it on WhatsApp, be it any platform through which you are chatting any of these Chinese suppliers. With this method, it will make the communication between you and your supplier very easy. Okay, it will also remove the stress of uh, opening your Google Translate, typing, then coming back to paste your translated charts to your Chinese supplier. Okay, with this method, you can actually be on the same page either on 1688 app or on WeChat and chat your, uh, your Chinese suppliers with English language whereby your chats, your English chats, gets automatically translated into Chinese language, okay? If you're just coming across my channel for the first time, please do me a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. This way you get notified each time I post new video, okay? And don't forget to like and share this video. Now, let's dive in into the video. For this method, you will need to install an Android app okay let me open my google play store go with me here on the google play store you need to install an app called microsoft swift key called microsoft swift keyboard okay let's click on it to open it okay here is the app so you quickly click on install okay click on install to install the app as soon as the download is complete we need to run some few um setup on the app okay to get it ready for use it's installing now so we allow it to install completely as soon as the installation is complete it will give us the option to open the app so when the option to open it comes up we'll click on open and then run the setup and we're good to go now the installation is complete so we need to click on open we need to click on open okay now on this page we need to um we need to run these three setups. You can see the first one. You can see the second one. You can see the third one. Okay. We need to click on Enable Swift Key. Click on it. Now you see you have different options there. So we are going to select Microsoft Swift Key. We need to turn on. Now on this page, you need to click on this button to switch on Microsoft Keyboard. You click on OK. Now the first one is set. We'll go to the second step. Okay. Select Swift Key. We'll click on it. Click on Microsoft Keyboard. And the second one is set. We'll go to the third one. Get better predictions. We'll click on it. Okay. On this page, we need to sign in. Okay. I'll click on this particular sign in button okay click on it now it takes me to this page i'll choose the email i need or i add a new account okay so i'll choose the first one so it will sign me in now click on okay it takes me to this page okay now on this page Now on this page, there are 
there are three things we need to attend to out of the four options we have here we have number one we have number two we have number three we have number three and we have number four okay now the first one is languages now by default english language is installed now for the first one it is only when you have other languages you know how to hand maybe you have other languages maybe you can speak chinese or you can type chinese you install the keyboard okay but in our case we don't need to install any keyboard so we need to because we don't need anything on the languages the first one we need to move over to the second one okay we need to move to number two now number two will enable us to choose a team to customize our keyboard give it a look choose a particular keyboard we want that to fancy it okay we'll click on teams number two now I'll choose any keyboard i want to in order to give my keyboard a good look okay now I'll choose let me scroll down okay i'll choose this one i'll choose forest now you can see the look of my keyboard has changed okay now as soon as i'm done with this one i'll click on this arrow up to go back okay i'll go back now you see the second one has been ticked okay we'll go to the third one resize i'll click on it now this option is only if you want to resize your keyboard as you can see i can resize this keyboard i can bring the size down i can make it smaller i can make it bigger okay so it all depends on your choice i'll take it to the height i wish to use okay when you're done you click on okay then you go back then you click on this arrow again to go back i'll go back the third one has been uh, taken care of then we have the fourth one which is number row okay this number row will actually add number after where you have uh, alphabets and numbers on top of it when you apply this number row it will separate the number from um, normal alphabet okay so I click on number row now you can see the number row has shown if you watch up here you can see the number row is displaying okay the number row has shown up above the alphabet okay now for us to start communicating in english i'm going to show us an example here now and um, the our english letters get translated automatically to chinese language we need this function here if you watch closely you see where this cursor is pointing at at this particular icon where you have an alphabet small letter a with arrow up and down that is the translation um function okay to get other functions on this keyboard you need to click on these three dots where you have these three dots by the right you can see now click on it it will give you all these other options okay now you see the option for resizing here the option for resizing you can see it here you can see the option for teams okay now for us to type and get our english letters translated to chinese automatically we need this function here where my cursor is pointing at so click on it it is asking you he said by using this feature you agreed that the test you type will be sent to microsoft translator for translation you now click on agree okay click on agree here click on agree just click on agree now you can see if you watch on the screen you can see what is happening at the extreme left you see english if you watch at the extreme right you will see english too okay now what it means is when you type in a particular language it is translated to a particular language the english in the left side here 
is actually what you are typing on whereas the one at the right here is actually the translation okay so for us to translate to chinese we need to set the english at the right to chinese you click on it it will open then go down and choose chinese simplified now if you want it to be translated very fast without using your internet connection okay because sometimes internet connection can slow down the translation speed okay you need to click on the blue button where it says you can now translate offline okay if you click on that it will take you to google play store and you download the offline translator after downloading it the translation process will now be fast it will no longer use data to translate okay you can see chinese simplified here just click and select it now you see the language has changed now anything you type inside this keyboard where it says type to translate you can see where the cursor is blinking where it says type to translate anything you type here will be displayed on the um try typing here up here will be displayed here in chinese language now let's try i'll type on i'll type hello i'll type hello You can see now i say how are you doing let's see now you can see it has been translated automatically and i can also send this okay so this is an example let me show you on 1688 i like i rightly said this is not limited to a particular app you can use it in any platform at all okay now to complete this installation i need to click on next i need to click on this next button okay i'll click on next i'll click on it said installation successful i'll click on agree and i'm done i don't need any other this thing here I'll exit this app exit this open 1688 app Now you move over to your 1688 app or WeChat or WhatsApp or any other platform which you are using to communicate your Chinese subjects. Okay? Move on to the platform and start chatting your Chinese suppliers and see your English uh, chats automatically translated to Chinese. Now let me show you an example. Let me click on this 1688 chat on here to open charts now let me choose any of these suppliers let me chat any of them now i'll open this now i click on to type now on this place i will not actually type inside i won't just start typing like this if i type everything will be sent in english language so what i just need to do is to locate this icon i showed you anything i will type first of all i will click on it to prompt the option of typing and translation so i'll click on it now you see it has opened so i now need to type inside the keyboard and watch it translated let me type hello it's translated i'll click on the blue button here to send i'll click on this blue button to send okay i'll click on it it has sent this one is automatic reply i'll send him again i'll type when are you sending out the parcel
I'll click on the blue button to send. Everything gets automatically translated. You can see. Okay, so this is how you translate your English language automatically to Chinese language when chatting your Chinese suppliers. Okay, it's so easy. It saves you time of copying and pasting into Google Translate. Okay, if you got value from this video, please endeavor to click on the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This way you get notified each time I post new video. Okay, don't forget to like and share this video. Come back for more videos. Thank you.